Jane and Jennifer, thank you for your time today. Are you feeling well and good and happy? Yeah, yeah, good, yeah, thank yeah. You. I'm super, super awake. Good. Mm-hmm. Does that mean you're super, super not awake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <fine. laughs> uh, thank you for having me explain my own sarcasm. Thank well, you. I, I, I wanna, that's I, always fun. <laughs> I want to be absolutely clear because I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't want to waste your right. time today. We'll, we'll get it. We'll be painless today. You won't. Okay. You won't. You won't. You're real good. Go. Okay. Good. Very hot day, obviously. You're welcome to come to the beer Is garden. It? Later. I haven't been outside. Where's the beer garden? Probably going to go North London somewhere. All right. Oh, that's okay. fun. Yeah, really nice. The, the barbecue be sort of. Yeah, I'll so see you there. Whenever you finish. Yeah. You're welcome. Great. Thanks, Should I just wear jeans? Jeans is fine. I mean, that's, I mean, that's a wonderful dress. Yeah, okay, thank you. It's beautiful. So, last time we spoke, James, you were talking about punching Hugh Jackman. I hit Hugh as hard as I could. He did say to me, like, next time I get you, I'm going to put you through the wall. Did he put you through the wall? Yes, he did. Yeah. Okay, great. Yes, he did. And, and I ended up with a bruise on my arm. It looked like he was going to lose his arm. Okay. Yeah, it was like, it was going all gangrenous. No, I'm not joking, actually. It was How huge. How he ended up it in was the wheelchair. Like, it was like that. Yeah, it was like, in humongous. black. I've never and seen such a dark bruise. If you'd have painted it, if a makeup lady had painted it on me. It would have looked like too much. It would have looked fake, <laughs> yeah. And have you, is this why you... <laughs> you're finishing your sentences. Yeah. You're finishing my work? <laughs> you're finishing my work? Your sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> is this why? Is this why? We you... didn't even plan that. We didn't. No. We've never done that together. <laughs> yeah, we really have not. No, no. Oh. I like it. It's a, it's a new double act for sure. Yeah. But is this is this why you've decided to go and do a bit more? You know, the old working out. Oh. No, no, no. I'm doing. I've got to lose weight for the job. I've got to get all skinny and sort of like okay. being starved and stuff. Okay. Like that. And Jennifer, last time we chatted, you were... Super fat. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't finish that sentence for me. I mean, that's not what I was going to say at all. Please don't say um, you were, Greg you... James said it. No, 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 no. Live no. on air. No, oh my God, no. So uh, you were raging about being stuck on a plane on the runway. We parked the plane. The plane has stopped. The thing is at the door. We are all ready to leave. We are standing. All of the dings have gone off. We are waiting. Why won't you just open the goddamn door? Well, I was going to check. Is there anything else that you'd like to get off your chest? Yeah, there today? is. And I thought about you, and I was like, you know what else annoys me? This can't remember it though. Oh. I don't remember it. <laughs> um, obviously, a memorable exchange we had last time. Yeah, which is, yeah. Which is great. This was a good talk. <laughs> <laughs> great. Anyway, let's talk about X Men Apocalypse. Ah, it has been. <laughs> I know. I mean, you know, I I, I want to uh, because I watched it yesterday, and I and I really really enjoyed. it. The film and I love cool. the story of this one. He's a nasty piece of work, his uh, old apocalypse, isn't he? Lives up to his name, I would suggest. Some believe that the first mutant was born thousands of years ago and that he's going to rise again. He can control all of us. Charles! You are all my children and your loss. Everything they've built will fall! It's all of us against a god. He's unchecked power, isn't he? And he's sort yeah. of, he thinks a lot of himself. You're in trouble. <laughs> um, and he's big and he's blue and he's bad. So this is kind of the this is the the third of the trilogy of of you yeah. know of your era, you two's era, of this. Um, and you introduce the new characters, and it must be a lot of fun to introduce people to these sorts of films because you're like the old hands, really, and you, you must be you must really enjoy being on set and doing these films. Uh, yeah, we have a really good time making these films. That's got to be said. It's been six years of the same people, and it could be a nightmare if you didn't get on. But we've had lovely people, mm-hmm. and what's been weird as well is that weird, nice. Uh, each time is that when we've had new bad guys come in or new kind of um, supporting characters come in, they've always been really cool. This one, we've had a ton of new people come in, and I was a little bit nervous about how that would affect the dynamic. But actually, there's a bunch of amazing people. Yeah, they're really good. it's like. Yeah, and actually quite a lot younger, some of the guys as well, but they didn't make me feel too old. I'm just so grateful for all the Game of Thrones characters that end up coming onto our movie. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. true. Every time somebody from Game of Thrones comes on, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> so you freak out. Yeah. Are you asking for autographs and things? Um, no, I'm asking for like a lot of details. I feel bad for everybody on Game of Thrones because they can't experience Game of Thrones. You know? What do you mean? Well, like, they don't get to, like, why they don't, like, every week, like, oh my god, Game of Thrones, here we go! Oh, I see what you you're know, saying. Like, I thought you were talking about you felt bad for the audience because they don't get to experience it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, no. What are you saying? No. No, I get you. I yeah, get you. They, she doesn't. So, like, I keep asking her questions about, like, the new season, and she's like, I don't really know. I don't know what it's about. <laughs> and I'm like, whatever. But, but, you, <laughs> but I suppose, do you, but do you get to enjoy your films? How are way? my stories so far? <laughs> <laughs> do you get to enjoy your films? Do you, no. Do you ever have you ever enjoyed one of your films? Um, 
Uh, wow, I think the the silence speaks volumes. Well, the, no, the no, no, X Men are no, X Men are nice because you know it's so <clears> ensemble <throat> that I, it normally like if you're leading it, then the whole time I'm like, oh my god, I'm a ghoul. How is I ever like? Who hires me for this? And when can I oh, stop eating? And you know, just like, <laughs> uh, but but the X Men movies, I'm not in all of the scenes, so I can like enjoy mm. you know the majority of the scenes. When but, I watch when I watch these X Men films and I see you as Raven. It blows my mind, the amount of money on the screen, the amount of, sort of technical stuff and all that. And yet, they still have to paint you blue. Like, yeah. Surely. I know, right? Surely there's something they just go, we don't have to paint you today. Yeah. Is that the worst thing about doing those films? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's uncomfortable. I mean, I can't really complain about it after Oscar did the apocalypse makeup because his head weighed like... 25 pounds. Like I walked by his his real head. I walked by his trailer one time and he's got a big head, but it's not that big. He was just like resting (laughs) because he has to take some of the weight off. And so his door was open, like his screen door was open on his trailer, and I just walked by and he just had his face like planted (laughs) on the table. And I was just like, hey Oscar. And he just went, hi. I was like, oh, so I won't complain about it. I have to pee on myself every time I have to go to the bathroom. Cause you I have to, to pee on yourself? I don't what? have to pee on myself, by the way. Yeah, no. It's just your personal preference. Yeah, Come on, but no, I have to pee out of a funnel. I have to pee standing up because the people who made the suit... Don't, don't like you. Yeah, exactly. They're like, She's, she doesn't go to the bathroom. She doesn't deserve to go to the so, bathroom. Yeah, so I can't sit down. So I have to stand and I have to pee out of like a funnel. And I just can oh. never get it right. I mean, it's great for festival season, that sort of thing. I mean, Yeah, they say that, but like now, like I, that's, I would never want to do it. You can't, there's no way to do it and not drip on yourself. Yeah. So, you a know. A funnel. Yeah, that's why we stay yeah, away from horrible. Jennifer. Do you have <laughs> a funnel on set? Because I smell Do like I have pee. a funnel? Yeah. yeah, but that's just my own personal preference. Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't need it. He doesn't, he wants I just it. enjoy it. Yeah, it brings your own funnel. Yeah. Okay. And I don't pee on myself. But these are, it's good to know. That was my next Stop question. Stop bragging. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, that's what that's what amazes me about watching these sorts of films is that you know there'll be a lot of downtime because you said you're in you know this scene and you're not in that day and whatever, so you are just walking around doing your emails or whatever, dressed as X or dressed yeah. as Raven. He must yeah, be. Yeah. Do you ever question your job when you're just you know doing admin and you're just sat there blue? It's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely weird. Um, my nephew, when he comes to set, he's always like he loves X Men, he loves like Wolverine, but he just refuses to. Except that I, I'm like, I'm in X-Men. He's like, no, the real X-Men. And he comes onto set and like, I'm like, look, there's Nightcrawler. Like, look. And he's like, no, not him. And I'm like, what do you want to see? And he, when I'm in blue, he'll like look at me, but I'm not allowed to touch him. Wow. I like just kind of scare him, like just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, my kid gets a little bit but scared. But he's not afraid him. of Nick when he's in full beast. Really? That's because yeah. he's so fluffy. Yeah, I guess so. It must be cool for your kid to go and see the set of X-Men. Must be unbelievable. I've not shown any. I've yeah, not shown never, any. I was about to say I've not shown any of my kids. kids. I've not got many kids. Um, <laughs> <laughs> many of my many of my many children. <laughs> um, no, I've I've not shown it off really. No, at all. I want to keep it all separate and like watch it when you're grown up and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. You're not students anymore. I'll take everything from them. You're X Men. So as I said, this is kind of the end of that trilogy that you've done. Uh, would you like to do some more of these films? They, because they seem like a lot of fun to do. If Simon keeps writing really cool stuff, and he has done so far, I'd be, yeah, of course, I'd be well up for coming back. I'd yeah. love it, love the people. Like you say, it's nice to work with the same people again, but, you know, I've, I've, I feel really, I'm really proud of playing, playing Charles and doing this, the kind of three different versions of him that I've been lucky enough to do. Yeah. So yeah, I'd keep, I'd do more. If it was well written, Jennifer, and they pay me a lot of money, I would do more. I was going to lean more towards money first, um, <laughs> creativity second, <laughs> timing third. <laughs> if the price is right, and I get my new funnel every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, seriously. If I can sit down to pee, then I'll come back. Great. Yeah, it's pretty go. simple. James and Jennifer, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Cheers. Nice, nice to see you. See you soon. Yeah.